Ah, there we are. Wednesday, September 22nd, 2021. Rainy. Rain today. We've had a lot of rain recently, lately. A lot of uh, precipitation. See a little standing water down in here. A little water down hear the thunder off in the distance that's not making it on shore this morning my galangal ginger doing great like six foot tall got uh, little blossoms all over it but what I wanted to strike on today was uh, I get a lot of questions about people trying to clone the bamboo like I cloned in my uh, video what is it, in 2017 still get questions on that so I'm going to go over kind of quick here try to quickly explain the uh, basics basics and now uh, the technical stuff the technical end of it is what type of bamboo do you have now these are bambusa vulgaris and see those are some new shoots coming out the top this here is a new shoot right here this whole hedge here down the side of the house is all uh, Bambusa vulgaris and all these were planted in uh, like uh, uh, 2018 early 2018 they were all just little tiny you know sticks nothing over say 8 or 10 foot tall now they're pushing 30 feet tall plus okay so cloning uh, you got to know what kind of bamboo you have Ooh, we got some standing water here and if it is even even capable of cloning now i'm going to try getting some clones off of a lot of these this year later um, what needs to happen is these new shoots which are you know getting up there eventually they're going to start getting branches like this one here so you're getting some little branches on there and getting some leaves on those branches that's starting to get to the point where you would be able to clone it. You want to get those new shoots. You don't want to get one that's a year old like this. And it's got big, long branches on there, lots of leaves. That's going to be a little harder to, to, to clone. I've tried those before, and, they, and I couldn't get any of those to go. So you get the new, probably four to six-month-old new branch like this one here this is a new shoot there and these are the new branches this one's probably well to have branches on it's gonna be over a month old these ones over here that don't have any branches on them yet those are um, probably only about three or four weeks old you know this one's maybe two months old so in another month or two like around November was when I had my best uh, best sprouts happening and you can see the little branches starting on this down here at the bottom so in a few more weeks this will have branches coming out here and what you do is you cut this off we cut these into pieces uh, leaving a tall snorkel on the t on the top and then a short piece on the bottom this would be the the node you're trying to uh, sprout right there and then uh, you will cut back a lot of the branches, all these branches which are growing out here like this. That'll probably get cut back, cut back. And the only thing you'll leave is a couple little leaves on uh, one or two of the short little branches. Everything else will get pretty much cut off. And that green new growth, that green new stalk, is going to have enough energy in there to make some aerial roots hopefully now again it depends on the species of bamboo i've tried uh i've got about six different uh species of bamboo here and i haven't tried cloning any of them because well they're just getting big enough now to have enough nodes to be able to to clone this is a cynicus here i might I might very well try cloning some of this. I mean, I will. I'm also looking to get a split 
come in here and split this pot apart and get two. And this looks like it might be a good candidate for that because I got this new shoot over here and I got old shoots over there. If I can come through the middle here somewhere and separate this off. Of course, this they need to have some uh, some branches and some leaves on there and some roots off of that before it can be split so it's not quite ready. But yeah, this, this top right here on the Sinicus might be a good uh, candidate for a clone and uh, but that that's uh, what you it's kind of the parameters you need to look for and of course a nice drizzly rainy day like today which we don't get a whole lot of it's either feast or famine here we're either in a flood or a drought usually uh, just this September has been really good for rain we didn't get any rain until uh uh, after the first week in June, wow, this thing here needs some water. Wow, that thing, that thing's really dry. I need to get that filled up. Anyways, that's uh, that's basically what you need. You need a new shoot with some leaves and branches on it. Then you need to cut all those leaves and branches back. Just leave like a little, a uh, couple little leaves on there, and then get it into a shaded area with um, pretty good humidity. Uh, maybe sitting in a uh, bunch of worm uh, uh, worm castings. That was my best best clone. It, it popped out roots in a couple days. This looks like it things really wanting to grow. I should maybe cut one of these and maybe cut that top off and try to do a. Man, there's a lot of stuff growing on there. Look at that thing. doing pretty good all this rain is the the key but anyways that's uh yeah that's my take on cloning you got to uh, get them when they're young and strong and wanting to grow not uh over a year old you can't use older uh combs if you're doing that that might be your first problem and uh, cut everything back except for a couple leaves it might even drop all the leaves off it but if it's got enough uh, vigor in that uh, stem that new column that new shoot Oop, mosquitoes coming after me uh, you might be able to get it to sprout some roots and bambusa vulgaris do have aerial roots they sprout roots kind of right out of the nodes here see those little bumps those will actually if I go into another one in here that's older, we'll see roots on the bottom. Well, maybe not on these, but, well, there's some starting. If I mulch that up good, oh, there's another new shoot coming right there. Ooh, mosquitoes, mosquitoes. Anyways, um, yeah, we'll, we'll do some cloning later uh, in another month or so. And, uh, See if we can get some going. Cut 